It's a beautiful day that the Lord has made and we are happy to be in his presence. How are you doing? Fine? Awesome! So let's put our hands together and close our eyes and talk to God, our Heavenly Father. Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for another opportunity to come and sing and dance and praise you and another time to listen to your word. Lord, please bless us. Please be with us throughout this time and cause your name to be glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Enjoy the rest of the service. singing and dancing and praising the Lord? Beautiful. Happy new month. Now we're in the month of February. Awesome, isn't it? God is so good. Now it's time for our nuggets. And for the month of February, the topic for our nuggets is table manners. And for today, we have table manners part one. I'll take that again. Our topic is Table Manners Part 1. So, lift up your right hand and say after me, I am royalty because I am a child of God. Beautiful. Now repeat after me. Nugget number one, I am royalty. I wash my hands before I sit down to eat. Excellent. Number two, I am royalty. I pray before I eat. Excellent. Now nugget number three. I am royalty. I do not talk with food in my mouth. 
beautiful. Nugget number four. I am royalty. I chew my food with my mouth closed. I do not allow anyone to see the food in my mouth. Fantastic! Clap for yourself, you've done great. Enjoy the rest of the service. Hello, hello, Royal. I'm glad you're still here. I hope you're enjoying today's service. It's about to get more exciting because it's time for the word. Of course, you know, God's word is in the Bible. Bible story, God's story. Lift up your Bible up like this and say after me, this is the Bible. It is God's word. God wrote it so we know everything in it is true because God cannot lie. Today I don't have a question for you. Guess what I have for you? Yes, a song. And at the end of the song, I will ask you a question. So I want you to pay attention. Let's go. Jesus bids us shine with a pure glare light Like a little candle burning in the night in this world of darkness, we must shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. Before I ask you the question, join me as we sing it one more time. Jesus beats us shine with a pure glare light. Like a little candle burning in the night In this world of darkness we must shine You in your small corner and I in mine From the song we sang, can you tell me what our story is about today? Hmm a candle? Well, night? Oh no! Did I hear you say light? Wow! Well, I'll give it to you. Our story today says, Shine for Jesus. Can you tell me how to shine for Jesus? Hmm, is it to wear shining clothes and move about as children of God? No! What does it mean to shine for Jesus? Now listen to my story before you answer what it means to shine for Jesus. Now, once in Bible days, there were no poor or needy people in the church. Can you believe that? But it was true. There were no poor and needy people because of some very kind people. One of such kind people was Barnabas. Do you know what Barnabas did? Barnabas had a big field or land 
when he saw so many poor people in church, he went and sold his field and gave the money to the pastors to give it to all those who were poor. After he did that, others who had land and houses sold theirs too and brought the money to the church to the poor. And the money became so much, everybody had more than enough and they praised God for Barnabas and all that shared what they had. Now, that was not all Barnabas did. At that time, there was an enemy of the church named Saul. He went about beating and putting into prison followers of the Lord Jesus. Then one day, the Lord Jesus met Saul and saved him. But the other followers of the Lord Jesus did not believe that Saul had been saved and were afraid of him and did not want to do anything with him. Now when Barnabas, the kind man, heard about Saul, do you know what he did? Our Bible reading is taken from Acts chapter 9 verse 26 to 28 and it says verse 26 when Saul arrived in Jerusalem he tried to meet with the believers but they were all afraid of him they did not believe he had truly become a believer then Barnabas brought him to the apostles and told them how Saul had seen the Lord on the way to Damascus and how the Lord had spoken to Saul. He also told them that Saul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. Verse 28. So Saul stayed with the apostles and went all around Jerusalem with them, preaching boldly in the name of the Lord. Barnabas went to Saul and made the other followers of Jesus believe and accept Saul. Now tell me, did anyone shine for Jesus in our story? Yes, Barnabas. Everywhere he went, he did something good. So tell me, how can you shine for Jesus? At home, in church, in school, and everywhere you go. By fighting? No, by pushing other children when, they are t when you are told to be on the queue. No, by telling lies. Oh no, by laughing at other children who don't have what you have or who fall down. No. By not doing your homework or church home play? No! By watching TV or playing video game when you should be sleeping or doing your homework? No! By running around the church or school when you should be listening to your teachers? No, no, no! Everywhere Barnabas went, he did something good. First, we saw how he sold his property and gave to the church. Then we saw how he made Saul and the other followers of Jesus to become friends. God wants all his children, including you, to shine as light in this world of 
darkness and wickedness by doing good things. When you do good things, like being respectful, nice, kind, helpful and loving, both at home, school, even in church and everywhere you go, you are shining as light. And guess what? Your life will make people praise the name of God. And guess who will be smiling down at you? From heaven. Yes, your heavenly father. I'm going to share one very important truth about today's God story time. And it is one reason the Lord Jesus saved you and made you a child of God is that so you will shine for him. I'll take that again. One reason the Lord Jesus saved you and made you a child of God is so that you will shine for him. Now, two lessons you must always remember from today. Number one, when you do good things, you are shining for Jesus. Number two, when you do good things, you make people praise God. Now, I want you to take this speaking to yourself right after me when I do good things I am shining for Jesus great job when I do good things I make people praise God awesome now let's go over our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. And it says, Make your light shine so others will see the good you do and will praise your Father in heaven. Let's take it together. Our memory verse is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 and it says make your light shine so others will see the good you do and will praise your father in heaven well done royal now there is a song to this memory verse Listen to it and learn it. Make your light shine, make your light shine, so others will see the good you do, and will praise, and will praise your Father in heaven. Make your light shine, make your light shine, so others will see the good you do, and will praise, and will praise your father in heaven matthew 5 16. and now to our home play how will you shine for jesus this week at school at home and in church think about it and talk to mommy and daddy about it as well I hope you had a great and fantastic time today in God's presence. I am looking forward to seeing your lovely face and smile again next time right here. Remember, remind your parents to download the Royal Scroll from the link showing on your screen right now. And if they haven't subscribed to our YouTube and join the Telegram channels, 
Tell them to do that. Goodbye, child of excellence. Enjoy your week. Conquer your world in Jesus' name. Amen.